And because early voting runs through this Friday, you don't have to wait till election day. You can vote all week. The Rio Riva County Clerk's Office reported this afternoon that a voter trying to cast an early ballot in Española today was told he had already voted three days prior. Activist on the tape goes on to suggest that discarded ballots could be collected from what she called Ghetto Aurora, saying that African Americans and Mexicans tend to throw out their ballots. And as for those programs we do need, I'll make them work better and I'll make them cost less. Thousands of federal workers are issued taxpayer-funded credit cards so long as they buy items that cost less than $3,000 or micro-purchases. Our review found about $20 billion in just about the course of a year. We'll save billions by cutting waste and improving management and strengthening oversight. We asked all of these other major federal agencies based here in D.C. for their micro-purchase shopping lists and all refuse. I'm pledging to cut the deficit we inherited by half by the end of my first term in office. The Independent Congressional Budget Office warning a new fiscal crisis is coming if Washington doesn't get its spending in check. Raising the debt ceiling, which has done, been done over a hundred times, does not increase our debt. If you've got a business, that you didn't build that. Somebody else made that happen. From the InfoWars.com studios. First, Ebola is not spread through the air like the flu. Ebola is capable of entering human airway cells. Ebola is primed to be able to have respiratory transmission. Crashing through the lies and disinformation, it's Alex Jones. You are either with the Republic or against it. Just four miles from Fort Meade, headquarters of the NSA, where he was the technical leader and director for intelligence with the NSA.